no, I'm just messing with you. So actually there is a Kenworth tribute truck that is actually for sale. So a friend of mine, Darwin, you might remember him from some of the uh, truck show episodes that I've put out there. Here, this is at Detroit with those straight pipes that wraps out like nobody's business. <laughs> and he's got this beautiful old Kenworth and he's done it up as a tribute truck to the Smokey and the Bandit movie. Now he hasn't gone quite as crazy as I have with, you know, making it movie correct. But his is a beautiful truck and it's got that 8V71 Detroit with straight pipes and I think his Jake Brake is just the best Jake out there. So he actually put a post up on Instagram recently and said he's thinking of selling his truck and I went, oh, you got to be kidding me. So I reached out to him and I said, Darwin, how come you're doing it? Say it isn't so. But I mean, sometimes vehicles come and go in your life and you got to just, you know, it's, so they're just... They're just toys and you, you, you fix them up, you enjoy them, and then you move on to the next thing sometimes. So I get it. But I also offered, I said, hey, Darwin, why don't you bring it over to Twin Stick Garage and we'll do a video of it and do a what's for sale episode. So that's the plan today. So he's going to bring his smoky truck by and maybe I'll get mine going and we'll have a little bit of fun. And if you're interested, who knows, maybe someone out there watching this right now is, is going to pick up Darwin's beauty. things first so if you remember a few episodes back when I was working on baking the smoky truck movie correct and I needed to get the the chrome air bands well actually I found two of them on eBay but the other two that I couldn't find Darwin donated to me so when I asked him I said you know what do you want for the the bands and he goes ah just give me a case of beer the next time you see me so before Darwin gets here I'm gonna take the Trans Am and go get some beer I just realized I gotta take the T-roofs off. Like my daughter Reese says, you just can't drive a Trans Am with the T-roofs on. Mrs. was asking how to do a burnout and unfortunately in this car I'm not going to be able to that 301 is is pretty anemic I mean it still moves the car around but actually the guy I bought it off of he he redid the the, the brakes and their discs in the back so when you try and do a brake stand it just it won't let go so she's asking well how do you do a burnout and I said well when we get that 400 Pontiac in here all built up with a nice heavy cam and, and good heads. All you gotta do is push that skinny pedal down on the floor and she'll burn the tires all day long. Man, this is fun. <laughs> Almost as much fun as driving the truck. for Darwin, one for me. You dumb cowboy. You know trucking core is beer east of Texas is bootlegging. This is George's son. It's <laughs> just a friendly bet. These two old boys put me up to it. Actually, come to think of it, it's the same color interior as the, uh, the Burnett's caddy. The biggest thing about the bandit is his ego. And I figured that, plus a lot of my dollars, and he'll try anything, legal or not. 
course the speedo doesn't work, so I have no idea how fast I'm going. Just gotta go with the flow. Are we really doing 110? We're doing 110. Watch out, puppies. Man, this thing spins them pretty good in the gravel. <laughs> All right. I figured I'll get mine out there as well because why not? And it'll be cool to take some pictures of Darwin's. I'll be driving this one. Hey, uh, blocker, blocker. You'll be driving the truck. That's this right. is Bandit 1, and that is... Uh, Bandit 2. Mm -hmm. Together again. Oh, that can only be one guy. <laughs> oh, man. Can you believe that he's actually willing to sell this truck? Oh, I think Mrs. Twin Six will let me buy another one. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Looking good, Darwin, looking good. <laughs> to sell this thing man this is too cool <laughs> i have to oh you do it darwin oh great you no, not bad oh wow she is looking good man you've done some work since the last time i saw it yeah a little bit yeah man i love the chrome nut covers there i was thinking of getting these where'd you find them Lesko has those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's all Lesko. And that stainless steel deck plate, I don't think you had that at the show last year, did you? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, maybe I'm going senile in my old age. Yeah, that looking really good. a whole lot, too. Put some lights on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the on the fuel tanks yeah, there. Yeah, made those, yeah. It's not a door sill that we use at work. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I just flipped <laughs> it backwards and polished it. <laughs> <laughs> Put some lights in there. Oh, I wanted awesome. lights on the on the bottom, but I just couldn't drill into the cab and the sleeper, right? So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put them right there. Oh, that's perfect. I dropped this step, so there was a hole there, so I just. Oh yeah, them. I remember you told me about yeah, lowering yeah. the step. So I just filled them, and then I put some behind the behind the uh, air, air cleaners, cleaners there. here. Yeah. Oh, it's looking good. I know it isn't movie correct, but I love picket elbows. It yeah, just it right? looks yeah, it gives right? it so much more yeah, of to. a beefy yeah, look to I, it. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool so what year is this thing again 78 this is 78 okay yeah. yeah 78 so maybe give the uh the viewers a breakdown so tell us all about your truck well that's a 78 uh, it, i dug it out of a farmer's field <laughs> nice <laughs> it was pretty ugly in fact they usually are when they sit out in those <laughs> farmer's fields how many mice did you have in here uh the, the headliner was 
unbelievable. That was what it, that was, I bought it in 16 and I had it a week and we took it to its first show. <laughs> and even at Dayton's on the front. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, one stack, 280 inch wheelbase. So it was uh, the same Hendrickson wheelbase? Spring. Nope, it had, it had Hendrickson spring. Oh, okay. And then uh, I back halved it. I bought, an, uh, I bought a non-runner 94. So basically from <laughs> here, back is all 94. And you cut it this far forward? Uh, here, right here. Oh, just under the tank? Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, it, so it's, it's an air ride now. All, it, I wanted Kenworth 8 bag. Uh, in hindsight, I'd probably never do that again. It's still a little rough without a trailer, but <laughs> Bob Taylor. You, you want to try mine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now it's 265. 265 wheelbase. That's a nice length. Uh, yeah. Put the pipes on it. Uh, I always wanted a truck with a B model sleeper. So uh, a buddy of mine was throwing that in the garbage. No way. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that I shop with, Trevor, he was throwing it in the garbage, and I'm like, no. No, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah. And it, it, I never painted it, nothing. It was a perfect match. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, you Mod must have polished Moderna it. Moderna wax, yeah. Cut yeah, wax, just... cut polish, that was it. Yeah. Oh, looks great. I, 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 I liked the kind of, you know, the, the dings and stuff in it. It shows its age. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it I, was, I, I'm not into concourse perfect trucks either. It was supposed to be a bit of a rat rod, and then it turned into chrome yeah <laughs> you can have you can have both yeah you can right. have both. So it's kind of both it's got a ab92 silver silver 92 detroit in it you can sure hear it coming twin turbo yeah it's a blower with a turbo it is uh it is uh not original it was never an original truck the original sleeper was not the original sleeper the door had been replaced it been it had a rough life so I wasn't too worried about cutting up a beautiful original truck. Yeah, yeah, right? it wasn't like a... So, uh, the motor is a 1985. The original motor was only a 380. This one's 475. Wow. Yeah, so it, well, it moves right And what uh, what gears you got in the back? Uh, there's three 90s. Three 90s, yeah, so it must hustle down the highway. Three 90s, and the, 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 with the truck that I bought, uh, had three, three 90s in it. So it screams a little bit more on the highway, but... Yeah. It's what it likes. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, I had it at the, uh, we, we took it to the Westlock. Uh, my dad used to live in uh, Clyde with my brother. So he's all buddies in Westlock there. So took it to the old farmers there. And one guy walks up, why do you have a V8 on there? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a straight six because that's what all diesel engines are. Yeah, you have to. You just don't know. Yeah, right. It, under the hood is pretty original. I didn't really do much to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just polished the... Uh, hey, but that makes it. Yeah, I just polished them one day, yeah. And, and Damn, she throws heat. Yeah. I just wrapped it up. They painted the headers a little bit, but that's really all. It, 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 You know, I changed some of the lines. Some of these fuel lines, they're pretty specialized, so I just left them. These were all leaking, so I changed oh, I all the air of the airlines. I was going to change them to PEX, but with all the heat here. No, I think that's probably the right thing. Yeah, to do yeah. There. So everything underneath, all the lines at the back have all been replaced. Yeah. The only thing I haven't tackled is the dash. <laughs> oh, yeah. You haven't gone back in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, right. a, it's a treat. My goal was to put uh, air, air ride under here. So oh, that's yeah. why I haven't really messed with this air ride and lower it and the bumper it's just an old peterbilt bumper i threw on there yeah, looks good though <laughs> yeah because that's why i didn't you know because i, I don't want to buy a new bumper and then lower it and then uh, it's just, yeah scrape it along yeah. yeah so that was kind of my goal but wow if i keep it that's what i'll do to it. huh yeah that's nice let's check out the interior <clears throat> is all original the seats were all gross, so I just dug those seats out of pick and pull. A little classy red, like my Trans Am. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? He just grabbed them out of a car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were literally in the ditch, actually. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, you got the big opening. Yeah, I cut the big opening in it. Oh, you cut, cut it? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I took that out of my uh, non-runner. Huh. The, the, the 94. Because it had a crawl-through hole, and it was horrendous. Oh, that crawl-through is just, yeah, you're right. It's, yeah, it, it is terrible, so... The interior is pretty much original. Yeah, I like the dash pad. Custom, I think. 
not the VIT, it's the custom down. Yeah, the VIT would have the uh, the buttons, button top, but you've got the, the three panels up yeah, top, so it's uh, kind of... That's like a custom or a... It's like the XLT mod, no, not, what's up from XLT? I don't even know my Ford truck. Yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's, I call it a custom. Custom. I like it, I love the T-handle. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Well, I was going to put a big stick in it, but you can't because you can't get it into reverse. So yeah, it won't fit like, under the steering wheel. On. I have tilt wheel for it, too. Oh, just, dear. Oh, you I haven't put it on yet. When I busted my arm, that that did that in. I was going to do that over the winter, but I just didn't get time. I, I couldn't work on it for like four months. Yeah, that was brutal. Huh. Well, she's a pretty sweet ride. Huh. Should we go for a ride? Sure. All right. You want to drive? No, no, you show me. I got to film, darling. I got to film. <laughs> I got to film the master. Yeah, so Darwin actually hooked me up with the uh, Fleet FX graphics, so that's why the gold is identical. Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks good. Mine they did wrong, you know, like I said, they only did this. They didn't do, you know, they didn't do it right to the bottom, and I didn't notice it till I got it home, and then I'm like, yeah, I actually yeah. kind of like it. It's different, right? You know, it's like... I, I kind of like the black underneath. It could be Smokey and the Bandit if you want it to be. It could be whatever you want it to be, right? Yeah, it's got a Smokey and the Bandit kind of... kind of the feel, but it's you know it's not the Smokey and the Bandit truck, because it's not that, right? Well, yeah. That, I went a little nuts with, but... Yeah, but... It, it turned out decent. You had to, right? Like, yeah, yeah, we're trying to make it authentic. Yeah, but. yeah, whereas mine, I was never really... I was like, yeah, I want that feel. It, originally, I didn't... I like the black. Like I said, I was going to do more of a rat rod theme, and then I'm like, eh, I kind of like the Smokey and the Bandit theme. I'm oh, like, no, you nailed it, it. Right? You nailed it. Cool. Well, let's go for a rip. Okay. Yeah, these, these seats are solid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no give. Oh, that's so nice. Can you back in the shop there? Yeah. Yeah. Man, this thing sounds mean. It reminds me of that, uh, what was that movie with the clown on the front? The uh, Maxim Overdrive. I think it had a big old EP71 in it. Finally got my Jake's working on the, the oh, snowman. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. And uh, I thought they were loud, but no, this thing still, <laughs> this thing still kills them. <laughs> 13?
this is again with that gigantic engine under the hood. It's got so much power when you're just zipping down the yeah, highway. Yeah, it's not working it. very hard. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, it's way better than mine. You got oh. air and you got length. Yeah, yeah. We'll go for a ride in mine. You'll need a chiropractor. This thing's nice. I mean, we're literally bolted to the floor, <laughs> and it's not bad it's at not all. Bad, yeah. My short wheelbase with that big stack of springs is just. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's what it was. That's why we broke the frame because we. Oh yeah, that's what we, we originally drove it with the springs and the 280 and all that. Yeah, and yeah. And then uh, the frame cracked because it was a, it was really crappy welding. Yeah. Whoever welded it did a really crappy job. So huh. we were we were we had the we had the parts truck already. We just didn't want to do it. Right? Yeah, you were dragging heels. Yeah. That's a fair price. I've done a lot of work to this truck, but I know how much goes into it. I got north of that in, in my Peterbilt, not counting hours. So, right. yeah, that's that's fair. I think it's a fair price. I think it's uh, you and, know what I mean. I, and I think you can't find these anymore, right? Right. This this configuration. Oh, this is an awesome right? configuration. Like, yeah, right. Like it's uh, it's uh, I don't think you can ever find it. When I when I first saw this truck, the, the history behind this truck when I when I. Uh, Oh, you gotta do the manual shut off. Oh yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> that's the, that's way quieter. That's anti theft. <laughs> like tonight is. You just, you just leave this out. Nobody can start oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You just hide that. And nobody can start it. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. When, when I uh, I saw this was on Kijiji, and the guy had a really crappy picture. I bought it in. I bought it in August, late August, and uh, I phoned the guy up. I saw it right away. Hey. And uh, I'm just, because every once in a while I just flip through, you know, I, was, I wasn't looking for a truck. Sure, I, yeah, I'm watch, with you. Right? I've been there. You know, I've been and, there. and I, I seen this truck and he had a picture of it up against his shed with a snow drift in front of it, right? Dude, <laughs> it was just way to a sell horrible it, dude. picture, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was August, and I'm like, where did you get snow from, right? Like, so I phoned this clown, right? Uh, right away, I phoned my dad first. I'm like, dad, what do you think? Yeah, call him. All right, so I phoned the guy. It's sold, of course, right? Oh. Always late to the party, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they laid dollar short. <laughs> yeah, right? So the guy, buddy was like, you know, we talked, and what are you going to do with it? Blah, blah, blah. What do you do with it? That's oh, a farm truck, da, da, da. Okay. And I'm like, I, I want to make it a show truck, right? So sure enough, uh, uh, he says, you know what? A guy from the States bought it, but he didn't give me any money. Mm. But he, he bought it. I'm like, okay. So... Uh, we waited. I said, call me Monday, right? So 8.01 on Monday morning, I called this guy. Yeah, right? you're too eager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, it's yours. I said, I will. It's, it was in Bonneville, right? Yeah. I said, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I said, <laughs> just <and> give her. <laughs> <laughs> I got the money and we'll, we'll be right there. Right? <laughs> he's like, no, 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 no. He said, it's yours. He said, I will not sell it to anybody else. It's your truck. Oh, nice. And uh, so we went up there about a week later. He wasn't even home, eh? So we went, my dad and I jump in the car. We just <laughs> went up there. <laughs> Here you go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't get by it fast <laughs> yeah. enough. So you just yeah. started up and drove it home? Uh, no. No, no, he wanted me to drive it home. I didn't. I'm like, I don't know this truck. And then uh, I trailered it home. And then it's a good thing I did. So when I did the hubs, this this hub had zero oil in it. it when I pulled the cap off, there's not a drop of oil in it. So I would have never made it. It would have cooked my Vilna. Yeah. And it would have been <laughs> yeah. flying off. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we, uh, we we trailered it to the to the uh, truck show. The first truck show was in seventeen. The picture fifteen. Sorry, yeah, six, sixteen. Pardon me, sixteen. When I when I um, we trailered it there. I didn't have plates or insurance or nothing on it, right? So then uh, in seventeen we drove it there. We drove it from the we drove it home from the farm because i had the farm my son-in-law is up by uh, nerlandia they have a big shop okay. and stuff there yeah, so yeah. that's where all the frame and that we did that's all where you did all the work yeah, yeah you yeah. can't do that out in the gravel no yeah so they had um yeah so they had uh pickers and whatever right so it worked out pretty good there actually so we could just pick her off the crane pick her off the old sleeper pick her this one you on. need a way to lift it yeah it mm -hmm. was really really good it worked really slick and, and then uh, cole is a welder he's a part-time farmer there too he's one of their their uh, he's related to them and uh, he was the one that welded it up for me and he did an amazing job oh, nice. so yeah it worked really really well out there and then and then we kind of it was just you know, an hour drive, hour and a half drive, three hours of driving every weekend working on the truck, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah. it was a lot of painstaking driving and working and driving and working and and uh, it's tough when you don't have your shop like yeah, right yeah. beside so your house. Then, yeah. and, then, and then Trevor McKay, uh, he was the one that gave me the sleeper. He's like, uh, you know, what what are you doing? Blah blah. blah. And Trevor used to work for me, and then we just everything kind of happened with the Rosano thing there. Trevor kind of got punted there, so we kind of lost touch there for a couple of years. And then all of a sudden one day he was throwing this old this old box in the garbage and i'm like no 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 <laughs> yeah. please don't and then he's like well what are you uh, what are you doing and i said well we're, it's a tough time working on it in the in the it's tough to work on it at the farm kind of thing right so he's like well why don't you come shop with me right so then we moved it into the edmonton well that was that was where kind of yeah the finished product got going on her yeah we trailered it home we didn't have it quite running yet. We had to. We had the pipes all on it. Of course, we put it on the double drop. It's too too high. So <laughs> the, pipes, yeah. the pipes have been on and off. You're a little taller than thirteen times. six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, well, we probably would have been fine, but I was really worried. Well, you didn't want to clang. <laughs> yeah, like, pipes aren't cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four thousand dollar pipes. Come on, come on, you yeah. idiot, right? Just bend Just, it right yeah, over. And they're so easy to pull off because I, I Peterbilt mounted them. You know what I mean? I Peterbilt mounted them, so they're just you know there's eight bolts and the uh, clamps underneath, and it's they're off it. They're off yep. no time flat, right? So if somebody wanted to trailer at home or whatever, it's pretty easy to do. The pipes come off real easy. Hmm. Cool. 
All right, Twin Stick viewers, if you're interested in this beauty, reach out to me. You can send me an email, twinstickgaragegmail.com, or hit me up on any of the socials. I'm Twin Sticks on Instagram, TikTok, any of those, and I will get you in touch with Darwin. Good luck selling it, brother. Thank you. Got it. I got one air leak. I, I was underneath there. It's, it's the braided lines under the dash. Oh, yeah. It just leaked. You can hear it. Oh, it's letting her go, yeah. See, I actually have a tank and a compressor I was going to put in the other side and uh, air it up. And then you just flick the switch and then you, you got air. Because, you know, the kids like to pull the air horn up the <laughs> Yep. <laughs> but I just never got it hooked up. I have a Peterbilt tank that they gave me. And, and that's, that was that box was going to be that. I just flick the switch and it'll just air the truck up all the time. Yeah, that'd be slick. Like in the, in the shop, I just hit the air to it. Yeah, the, uh, the anti-smoke valve. Yeah, otherwise you're dead in the shop. Well, I, I did that this morning with mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the sticker. That's yeah, a good right? spot. What's that? The twin stick sticker. Yeah, right? Nice. Yeah, well, I had it on there and then I, I repainted them, hey? <laughs> and then I had I didn't paint them, so I stuck it on there, and I had this one on there, the other one on there too. I had a bunch of stickers. Oh, from Let's Go there. Show, yeah. Yeah, and I and I'm like, oh, I gotta take it off, and I'm like, I need a sticker. <laughs> so and then I, I had them there, and then of course I put them in the glove box. What did you do with the stickers? You gave them to me, and then here the other day I'm like, I gotta stick this sticker back on. Oh, that's nice. Well, let's hear a start. <laughs> and the driver. Class act. See you, Darwin. Could be yours. I love that. <laughs>